Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and we're jumping back into the Traveller's Notebook today. Let me know if you've been enjoying the Inky June Marathon video so far. If you have just stumbled upon this video, uh, I am uploading a video every single day in the month of June to YouTube. Uh, it's something that I did a few years ago before these kiddos came along, this guy in particular, and I want to get back into it uh, and make it a bit of a, a bit of a tradition every year if if we can do that hopefully uh, please also excuse the yellow paint that seems to be on my fingers I had just filmed some art journaling videos and I think that video you will be seeing next over here it's either the next one or the one after the next one uh, I did some lots of yellow paint and if you watch me a lot You'll know yellow isn't always my go-to color, but I've been trying to experiment with a few colors that aren't my usual go-to. Uh, this journal page is definitely not an example of that. I absolutely love pinks and reds and blues. Uh, they're my three favorite colors. And I, after having the last journal with me video was very rainbow and I try to, when I'm working my traveler's notebook, I, I guess there's a bit, I don't know, I give myself a little bit more freedom. I feel a bit more free. Uh, and so I typically don't give too much uh, attention to what the previous page was as to whether it coordinates with the next spread or um, so on. But I do do sometimes try to make sure that they're not the same color schemes one after the other. Uh, so because the last one was rainbow, it was really good because it gave me a very free opportunity to do any color I wanted for the next one. I'm trying to use up some sticker sheets that aren't uh, as used as often as some of other others in my stash. And so I found these two pictures of Arch and they were taken last winter. Uh, we've just started winter here and as I type this I think it's about 20 degrees today so our our winters do get cold and it snows in some areas it doesn't snow where I am um, but I think this is taken on one of those warmer winter days even though he still has a beanie on uh, we've popped down to the beach and had a bit of a climb on the rocks and caught up with a friend and I it's very difficult to take a photo of Arch that's not blurry <laughs> I'm going to be honest. He's always on the go. And so whenever he is uh, preoccupied looking at something, I try to snap a photo uh, because, yeah, the photo opportunities aren't immense with this little uh, speedy dude. I think that's the best way to to, to uh, explain him. He's, he's like a ping pong ball. He just boings from one end to the house to the other <laughs> constantly I grabbed this sticker sheet because this is one that look at look at how many stickers are left peeps it's so close to being done it's the uh, sunny days one from crepe paper and I'm left with a few things that are a bit awkward like umbrellas I don't know when I'm going to use those um, and so I'm just trying to to work through and see which stickers I can actually use uh, before I possibly rehome the last little ones or maybe donate them to Archie to do some scrapbooking uh, of his own. <laughs> we'll see how we go. So I took my color cues from the photos, of course. Uh, so I've got red in that washi tape and then this is a blue uh, Tombow dual brush marker. And the paper in this insert isn't as nice towards these brush markers as the Traveller's Company inserts that I have used for the previous two uh, notebooks that I've done. And I am learning how to work with it because I feel like I can't press, even though it doesn't bleed through, the, the paper itself isn't uh, maybe as smooth and the ink soaks in a little bit more than it does on the other uh, insert paper. So I do think, uh, and do you know what's typical? If you watched the last few Journal With Me videos, uh, you would have seen that I didn't have a 003 insert, which is the, the number that I usually use. 
and so I grabbed this one, which is which is beautiful. It's working really, um, it's working really nicely. But of course, I just found a 003 insert, didn't I? Yep, it had fallen down in my journal cupboard. <laughs> so at least I've got one for the next one. Uh, so that'll be good. And I had these stickers uh, on my desk from a previous project. And so I'm just popping a few little pieces here and there, trying to work in some kind of naturey things, I guess, because we're outside and uh, also trying to use up some clear stickers because I find them hard to use in my scrapbooking uh, layouts, which if you aren't a subscriber to my main channel, Inky Quill, you might not have heard me rant about that before, <laughs> but I, I just clear stickers. I really love them, but I, I do find them difficult to use sometimes. Um, but I, I do really like using them in my, my traveler's notebook because typically I have a white background and you're able to see uh, the colors and the design a little bit clearer when it's on a white background. And I know I could stick them to white cardstock and cut them out, but that defeats the purpose of sticking and plonking, <laughs> not sticking, snipping and plonking. I much prefer the snip and plonk. Uh, I'm going through and outlining my brush lettering as I usually do in this insert. And I am using my uh, Pilot G2. I just had a mental blank. Pilot G2, yes, 07 pen. I have been using this pen for a very long time and I say it at every video and I just, it completely disappeared from my brain. Uh, thanks also recently on Instagram, I asked for recommendations uh, to new black pens and a lot of people said that jet pens have a uh, black pen sampler that you can get. So I'm thinking of getting that as well as a few of the other recommendations uh, that you guys sent through. So thank you very much for those. I have been a little bit quiet over on Instagram recently because um, we've had a few things going on at home. Uh, the I just talked about it in my Patreon video from yesterday, but the dummy fairies arrived at our house last week and uh, Archie is without his pacifier. We call them dummies in Australia. So it's now taking about three to four hours uh, for him to fall asleep with lots of uh, procrastination from him it's, that's the best way to put it uh, and the other little one is about to pop her bottom two teeth out so we've my my evenings when I usually do all of my uh, social media and voiceovers have completely disappeared the past I would say two weeks uh, which is perfect timing for the Inky June Marathon of course um, but such is life and that's okay. Just need a few extra snuggles uh, for the kids this week. I am adding some journaling down the bottom here and I love these little stickers. They were part of that clear sticker sheet. Uh, it's a crepe paper one. I believe it is the My Favourite. Is it My Favourite Things? It's the recent one that they had with all of the uh, woodland animals. I'm a little bit out of touch with uh, collection names. I've, I've fallen off the bandwagon since having Violet. Uh, I have lost track of what collection is called what. I just remember them by the colours and, and the, the icons that are repeated throughout them. But I added in a little bit of journaling and I just wanted to, to capture um, just the innocence and sweetness of these photos and um, the stillness in these photos as well. <laughs> Ah, uh, dear. We'll look back and laugh one day. It's it's just part of the joy of toddleritis, I like to call it. Here we are. The page is done. The jazz hands are out. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and I hope you are enjoying the Inky June Marathon. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have been enjoying it so far. I will be back on my Inky Quill channel tomorrow with a video and then back here on Let's Get Inky the day after. And of course, every uh, five days over on Patreon, eight videos a month there too. All right, peeps, I will see you very soon. Bye.